absolutely simple but so delicious and so um, so crumbly buttery it has walnut it has meringue apricot jam lemon or orange zest all those ingredients when you combine without even making it it already sounds delicious it has a specific name I mean it has specific names some would call it karakul some would call it stirlitz some would call it um, shredded pirog but uh, to me it's a simple crumb cake or crumble cake or rather it's a tart because it does look like a tart it tastes kind of like tart so you'll make it you'll taste it and you'll decide it's a cake or tart or whatever you want to call it just make it you're gonna fall in love with this pastry or cake what we need simple things i'm still using those trader joe's butters and i'm happy to know i'm not the only one who has the problem <laughs> I'm so happy everyone is having problems with this butter, but I had it, I, I, I have to use it. Um, I have two sticks, but for the recipe I'm taking only 200 grams. Two sticks is 226 grams. Uh, we don't need extra butter. Uh, we'll use three quarters of a cup um, sugar, although by the recipe we need one cup, but it's super sweet. It has apricot jam, it has meringue that has almost a cup of sugar. So I reduced the sugar in the recipe, so three quarter and a bit even less sugar. First, we're gonna beat butter sugar until it's fluffy, then we're adding four large eggs, um, only egg yolks. The whites we're saving for the meringue. We'll need one cup of walnut, I'm gonna crush it, two and a half cups of sugar, a teaspoonful of baking powder, a pinch of salt, uh, vanilla extract. This is optional, but use uh, citrus zest. It will give even more flavor and it's gonna be even more delicious. Um, and I think that's it. Let's start by beating the butter and sugar and we'll go from there. I want to cut the butter because it's not super soft. I didn't took it out from the fridge on time. So it's a little bit on rather cold side, but nothing will happen. Trust me, as it starts to blend with sugar, it will melt. So I'm adding the butter and then the sugar. I al already removed the 26 grams. I added the sugar and if the butter is salted, skip the salt. But since it's not salted, I'll add a small teaspoonful of salt. I'm gonna let this mix a few minutes on low speed because I want the butter and sugar to kind of get to know each other. And I think they are starting to get to know each other. So I may go a bit higher on speed, just like so. And I'm going to separate eggs uh, whites from yolks and then zest my orange and the rest of the ingredients are already pretty simple to add so let's get started mm -hmm. and it's better if the, the eggs are room temperature you know? and I'm placing my egg whites directly to this bowl because I'm gonna make the meringue in this bowl so that's, that's smart of me. Okay, this is ready. I'm gonna check on the butter and sugar mixture. I think it will be smart to kind of bring this together, stop and scrape, as we say, because this butter is very tricky. All right, I'll give it another few minutes make it even more fluffy and pale color and probably combine my other ingredients which is two and a half cups of flour, a zest of orange, uh, baking powder and the rest of those. I'm gonna go for higher speed. Almost done zesting this orange. I would have zested two oranges because it adds so much flavor. But I think one is good too. <laughs> this is done. I could have mixed baking powder, flour, uh, what else, and zest together to make it into one ingredient. But 
since I'm already here, I'll add everything separately. Nothing will happen. At the end, they're all gonna mix together and combine into one singular dough. All right, I'll add the egg yolks first. One by one, while I'm mixing on low speed. I'll add a teaspoon full of vanilla extract. Whole thing, every single bit. What else? Now I'm adding two and a half cups of sugar, and at the very end, I'm adding baking powder. And that's it. I think. Dough is ready. It should be this non-sticky, easy to handle, very buttery. And this butter is not a good butter. Even with this simple dough, it makes um, the difference. I mean, it's like Play-Doh. It's not like it's supposed to be, but it will be fine. The taste, the taste is okay. It's the consistency of the butter that it's not I don't know, it's unusual. All right, I'm gonna divide into three equal portions. I have my 10 inch baking pan, although you don't have to have this spring form pan. This is a kind of cake or tart that you would bake and leave it in the same pan and then you eat it and cut it out of the pan and then you, you're done when you're done. You don't have to, I mean, r remove the cake from the pan. This is that kind. So I'll take one part and kind of spread it on my pan, nice and even. I'm, I'm eyeballing, let's say, let me show you, because I never even weigh or measure how much I take. It's like a handful, just like so. Mm -hmm. And if it's one uh, bowl is a little bit uh, smaller, bigger, at the end it's not gonna really matter. Nothing matters at the end. I'm gonna dip my hands into flour. It's, it's much easier to work with the dough because it's kind of sticky. You don't want that to stick to your beautiful clean hands. Nice and thin layer. It's not even that sticky. This is done. And because one of the layers needs to be shredded, it has to be frozen. And in order for it to froze or freeze, I mean, <laughs> faster, I'm gonna divide it into two pieces, make it a bit thinner just for it to freeze quickly. I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap and set it to my freeze while I'm spreading the jam, chopping the walnuts, making the meringue so it has enough time to get all nice and frozen. Here we go. Okay, let's oh, spread the jam. I'm gonna find the jam. Where did I put my apricot jam? Either in fridge or with other gems. Oh, I found it. We will need probably 200, 250 grams of jam. Or you can use any other of your favorite gems. But with apricot, it's so special, trust me. Spatula. Let's see. See, I'm not measuring, but as soon as I'm done covering this uh, layer with the jam, it means I'm done. I don't need any more jam. Now, look, this is nice and even layer of apricot jam. You like it with more jam, add thick layer of jam. Next, next um, piece of dough supposed to be chilled and shredded but i think it's an extra hassle because it's a very hard process to shred that frozen dough directly and exactly on the 
gem so that's why i just grab the dough pieces and kind of cover the apricot as much as possible thin or thick pieces nothing will at the end nothing matters i'll use some flour because it's sticky eventually you end up covering the entire gem part with the dough and when you do it by shredding it takes you forever to aim that shredded dough directly to the right direction so this is ready next goes uh, walnuts i mean next go walnuts nice and uh, finely chopped or sliced Cover that layer of dough with a good amount of walnuts. Yeah, the recipe asks for one cup. I always go for one and a little bit more, like almost half more. If you want to toast the walnuts slightly, they'll taste even better. All right, next goes the meringue layer and then the last layer is in freezer so let's make the meringue it's just egg whites and sugar a bit of vanilla extract and that's it normally we make the meringue by adding a little bit of sugar at a time but this is not that kind of a meringue you don't want to spend too much time and effort just mix all the ingredients together even vanilla extract can be go uh, can be added uh, immediately and start mixing on low speed three to four minutes turn the speed high and mix until it's nice and fluffy and looks like a meringue and it's ready I didn't bother adding sugar within an hour but the meringue turned out to be amazing just like the meringue that you would bother by adding teaspoon by teaspoon or tablespoon by tablespoon of sugar now I'm gonna spread this beautiful meringue on top of the walnut and then lastly frozen layer and bake it 170, no, 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 I'm sorry, 350 degrees, 45 minutes. Oh, I need to start preheating my oven. Now I'm gonna try to nicely, evenly spread out this gorgeous fluffy meringue layer as even as possible. Possible. <laughs> That's a new word. <laughs> done our frozen layers are nice and see very stiff now I'm gonna shred this on top and I started preheating the oven and we're almost done normally in real life when I make this cake when I start spreading the layers or spreading the jam even or chopping walnuts meanwhile i start mixing my meringue so i don't waste time on making the meringue at the end almost but since we're filming to be honest we didn't want that mixer sound to be in our um, life that's why it came out a bit longer than expected i ended up shredding the last layer I mean last piece of dough on my cutting board so it's easier for me to kind of spread it on the sides that are kind of open and this is much better it's almost done and the oven is almost preheated too so all we need to do is bake it 45 to 50 minutes or until it's nice and beautiful golden roasted color
it's done ready i baked almost 50 minutes and intentionally i placed this underneath because when you use spring form pan it may start leaking but my mom no one makes it in sp spring form pan it just looks um, so beautiful when you remove the sides and it looks like a cake that's why i did it but normally grab any of your regular uh, 9 by 13 i believe uh, pens will work any pen will work you don't have to go with spring form that's what i was gonna uh, tell you so i'm gonna let this cool down a little bit so i can remove it and taste it oh no dust it with powdered sugar and then taste it i mean show you how it looks not <laughs> it's not all about uh, tasting but yeah make sure you bake it properly since it has a thick layer of meringue you want to make sure that uh, between the layers there is another layer of dough so it bakes properly okay i gave you all the details let's wait a little bit i want to dust it with powdered sugar and then open the gate spring form gate This may not look like super perfect, but I'm sure it looks very delicious and appetizing with that dry and crispy layer of meringue. And I mean, the whole thing is crispy, crumbly, buttery. It has everything. I think I'm gonna take a bite. It's still a little, a little warm, but I can handle it. Let me just clean this up. If you happen to have a vanilla ice cream, just a small scoop of ice cream and this still warm cake, it's like, uh, I don't know, you describe it. It's so good. Okay, let's taste it. Mm, oh my God, amazing. Mm -hmm. We don't have ice cream, unfortunately. But I do have a recipe for you. I'll link it in the description. Make it, try it, let me know how you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. And I'll finish the slice. Don't even doubt. Look at those layers, the jam, walnuts, meringue. I mean, all the goodness.